Good morning. It's Monday, October 24th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Fiery Trials, and our scripture is 1 Peter chapter 4, where the apostle writes, Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through, as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad, for these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering, so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. If you are insulted because you bear the name of Christ, you will be blessed, for the glorious Spirit of God rests upon you. It's important to learn to stand against both big and little things the devil throws in our pathway. God's people have always had to do that. There are enough false things out there to trip up any believer, from lunatic cults to nationalism-driven, manipulative politicians from the far left or right. While there are all those spiritual traps Satan provides, there is also the reality that we are beings of the flesh as well. Sometimes we are like the cartoon character Pogo. We have met the enemy and he is us. God knows us and he knows our frame that we are dust and so God provides spiritual protection. The Apostle Paul called it the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6. If we will take it and put it to the intended use, we will be successful in waging spiritual warfare. Joe Lewis was the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. He fought 71 times. He lost only once. During the 15 years he held his title, he defended it 25 times. Bill Stern, the voice of American sports on radio, interviewed the Brown Bomber toward the end of his career to find out the technique or secret that Lewis used in fighting his opponents and how he could win over people who often were much larger than he. His answer was very simple. I study my opponent. I plan my fight very carefully. The results are always the same. I'm never surprised, and I stay on the offensive. That's pretty good counsel for dealing with the devil. Satan wins many of his attacks and victories because he surprises us. We live continually shocked. The believer has no reason to be shocked or intimidated or surprised by the attack of the enemy, none whatsoever. God has given us the armor and the battle plan to overcome his attacks. Like Joe Lewis, we must never underestimate the enemy. But with that, let me remind us all that even the enemy's worst fiery darts hurled at our lives cannot pierce the shield of faith. That is why God can promise us a blessing every time the world, the flesh, or the devil throws something else in our path. For you today. Take a deep breath and invite God's Spirit to have complete control in your day. With that release of control exhaled towards heaven, the blessing of peace and God's rest will descend on your head like a crown you'll wear with distinction and honor. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.